What is a heat pump? I mean, I've been hearing so much about them lately that I'm sure they're important. What are they used for? Do they work like a bicycle pump? Well, they pump, but they don't really work with bikes anyways. Today I'm going to answer those questions, starting with the first. A heat pump is part of a household's heating and cooling system. They also run on electricity. You might be thinking, that sounds just like an air conditioner. What gives? While you'll need to pair an AC unit with a heater, a heat pump can be used to both heat and cool your house, so there's no need for another system. Wait, how can one system heat and cool a house? During the colder months, a heat pump pulls all of the heat from cold outside air and brings the heat inside. During the warmer months, a heat pump absorbs all of the heat from the indoor air and brings it outside. Wait a second, how can it pull heat from cold air? Oh, here we go. This happens because of a versatile substance called refrigerant. Yeah, like the stuff inside a refrigerator. Refrigerant. It can absorb and reject heat as it circulates through the heat pump system. I like summer, so let's take a look at how this might work during hotter summer months. How does a heat pump cool down a house? The refrigerant is sent through a series of coils that make up the indoor portion of the heat pump. The hot outdoor air is then allowed to pass across the coils, where the heat energy is absorbed by refrigerant. All that's left is cool air to blow through the house and cool me down. The refrigerant now has a bunch of heat energy, and it evaporates into a gaseous form. But don't worry, we want this to happen. Another part of the heat pump, a compressor, pressurizes the gas, which makes it heat up even more, forcing the gas to move outside into the outdoor part of the heat pump. One cool way we can explain this process is by using the equation PV equals nRT. The variables are P for pressure, V for volume, N for number of moles, R, the universal gas constant, and T, temperature. In the heat pump, volume, the number of moles, and of course the constant are held constant. This leaves pressure and temperature to change. In the compressor, the air is compressed, meaning pressure increases. Because pressure and temperature have a direct relationship and are on opposite sides of the equation, as pressure increases, the temperature must also increase. Our compressed, hot refrigerant gas is moved into the outside portion of the heat pump. Even though it's hot outside, the outside air is cooler and is at a lower pressure, so the heat energy is transferred from the refrigerant to the outside air. Now with less energy, the refrigerant returns to a liquid state and is sent back through the cycle. How cool! This whole process is like a roller coaster ride that never ends, moving backwards and forwards, always cycling. With the use of a reversing valve, the refrigerant flows in the opposite direction and the same system that cools can be used to heat the house. Wow, what a cool invention. Why aren't these more popular?